The following tutorial will guide you through clearing up your client and vendor deposits. We recommend that these two reports be reviewed monthly. The Open Client Deposit Report can be found under the Accounts Receivable Reports menu. The Open Vendor Deposit Report can be found under your Accounts Payable Reports menu. Let's start by taking a look at the Open Client Deposit Report. The Open Client Deposit Report has an option to select the fiscal month that you wish to review the report as of. You can view the report for the client or project range or leave them blank so that you can see all. Select the detail report format so that you can see which proposals have available deposit. Review the report closely to see which proposals you believe should not have any deposit available or you consider complete. In this example, we are going to use Parker Proposal 1. The client sent us a 100% deposit on this proposal and now the items are complete and we just need to invoice them. Creating the invoice will apply the deposit and clear the amount from the Client Open Deposit Report. To create the invoice, we go to Client Invoices under Accounts Receivable and add a new invoice. Enter the project code and proposal number of the open deposit to apply. Individually tag each item on the left, or you can select the tag button and choose all items not invoiced. If the total amount to be invoiced is equal to the deposit received, you will notice a balance due of zero. If the balance due is higher than zero and you do not wish to invoice the client for this amount, you can use the override button to edit the invoice price to match your deposit. Once your balance due reflects the correct amount to invoice, select OK. Then choose Print Post to review the invoice. The last page of the invoice will show the total price, the deposit applied, and the balance due. If this amount is correct, Close and accept your invoice. Continue making new invoices for each project that has an open deposit you wish to apply. When you are finished, you can rerun the Open Client Deposit Report. The report will now no longer show those open deposits. The client deposit account will be reduced and the revenue accounts increased. This concludes the clearing of the open client deposits. If you wish to see how to clear the open vendor deposits, please continue the video. Let's take a look at our open vendor deposit report, which is under the Accounts Payable Report section. This report also has an option to select the fiscal month that you wish to review the report as of. You may also enter a client or a project range or leave them blank to see all. Options to sort by vendor or project are also available. For this tutorial, we will sort by project. Select OK to view the report. Review your report to determine which deposit should no longer be open. In this tutorial, we will work with purchase order number 7 for the Carter Pennington Home Project. To close out the vendor deposit, we will need to generate a vendor invoice for the purchase order. To do this, we go to Bills and Invoices under the Accounts Payable menu. Select Add, then select the Invoice for Project Purchase Order Type. Enter the Purchase Order Number. Enter the Vendor Invoice Date that you wish to close the open deposit as of. Enter a Vendor Invoice Number if supplied, or use the date as your invoice number. Optionally, enter a Transaction Description. If the total cost in the Vendor Invoice is equal to the deposit outstanding, the amount due will be zero. Select OK and post your vendor invoice. You can now rerun the report to see that your deposit will no longer be open. Now let's take a look at purchase order number 5 for the Carter Pennington Home Project. We will enter another vendor invoice for Project PO, just as we did before. For this purchase order, we will see that our cost subtotal is more than the open deposit. If we are sure that we do not owe the vendor the remaining amount, we can edit the component cost to match the deposit available. Select the pencil and reduce the cost, then select OK. 
Now you will see that the subtotal and less deposit amounts are equal, and the amount due is zero. Enter a vendor invoice date and number, and optionally a transaction description. Then select OK. Post your vendor invoice, and then you can once again rerun the Open Vendor Deposit Report to see that this deposit is no longer outstanding. This concludes the tutorial for the Open Client and Vendor Deposit Reports. To review more tutorials and knowledge base articles, please visit our Help Center at designmanager.com.